Hey there guys, welcome back, it's Earl Dragon, and today I'll be doing a Pokemon Binder update as requested from one of you guys. And I have two binders here. One I've organized into full arts and older full arts, I guess you can say. Um, because I do also have full arts in the other binder, uh, but more of the EX era um, and, you know, all that cool stuff. All the way back in Omega Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire, uh, X and Y, Black and White so on and so forth so with that uh let's get started and i always have this um as my first page these are the um legendary pokemons that were distributed per month in a special edition box uh, i believe these came out for shining legends uh it has been a while so correct me if i got the wrong set uh but i believe these are in order from february all the way down to the last one which was Magirna and Volcanion, so they kind of like threw two into a premium collection box But yeah, uh, this is my first page and it's pretty cool. I like having these um, sh Like being showed off first, so Bear with me. I will be sliding the binders back and forth um, because I don't have enough space uh, But yeah, and then we have the uh, really cool looking um, Set here. This is from Japan uh, if you guys remember, I bought a mini booster box or a Pokemon booster box from Japan, and it was a side set for the Hoopa movie, uh, which gave like insane artworks uh, where you can combine them, like for the cards. Uh, so here we have the Black Carrium and Reshiram, and you can see the tail of Reshiram being extended into the other artwork. Uh, unfortunately, Dialga, I don't think, um, has anything. Um, specific about them but we have Palkia and they have Latios in the background and vice versa in the corner there sorry for the glare and then on top here we got Reggie Gigas and then we have Arceus um, got the uh, white Kyrium and then we have Latias and also the Zekrom with Palkia in the back and of course we got the Pikachu and Hoopa uh, other than that, we are moving on to Full Arts. So we've got the Mega Gardevoir EX um, Full Art here. Or, uh, yeah, Full Art. There we go. Kind of see there. And I believe those were from the Generation set. Yeah, okay, so my bad. I already got that wrong. These are from the Generation set, I believe. I believe that's what it was. Generations. Um... Yeah, Shining Legends came the year after, and then it was Dragon's Majesty, and then, yeah. So I already messed up on that. Uh, I remember now. Very cool. And I have the Sylveon Full Arts. So they came in like this um, side set, but it was called like the, uh, was it Radiant Collection maybe? Or am I thinking of um, <laughs> Black and White? Maybe, because I believe that Mew was from the um, Legendary Treasures uh, side set. Anyway, so we got more of the Mega Gardevoir. Um, I don't remember what this set was. Maybe Steam Siege. Um, as you guys can see, I don't really touch a lot of my Pokemon cards um, anymore, but they're just here, and I have a lot of like you know uh, sentimental value for each one of these because almost every single card in here comes with a story of how I got it, um, other than opening it on the channel. Um, it was all from trades. Uh, it's basically how I got back into Pokemon collecting. And I still have the um, Team Magma's Groudon and Team Aqua's Kyogre EX. Uh, it was from Double Crisis, I believe. Uh, it was like a um, special side set, uh, which had the two full arts in it. And it was insane. I think one of those, or one of those blisters, if you were to buy today, would probably cost you hundred dollars maybe because the last time i saw one being sold was like seventy dollars eighty dollars and they're just kind of like non-existent on the market right now so to find one gotta be kind of lucky to find one for a good price anyways we got the uh primal groudon up in the corner there sorry if you guys can't really see that um mega mewtwo has pulled a ton of those back in the day so really really happy about that and we got the uh, two promos on top, or three promos actually, from the Mega Lucario collection. Or, I forgot what it was called. 
I don't remember the product names, but it gives you all these um, cool looking full arts and it has the Mega Lucario in it. Uh, we got the Zygarde. Um, one of my favorite artworks or full arts is the Curium EX full art. That looks insane. And I've got the Seismitoad. I remember that card being, um, I believe, playable um, back in the day. So we got some uh, Latios EX. Moving on. Um, Volcanion, also playable back in the day. I remember those. Um, I think it was for expanded format. I think it was like this. And then you ran like, um, was it the uh, trainer card? I don't know what it was, but it's like a torch or something. Uh, and then, yeah, we have this. Uh, I wouldn't say these were like secret rares on top, the top row. They're from Evolutions. They're just gold full art borders. Um, they're really cool, uh, which they resemble a secret rare, but these are the uh, more secret rare um, or real secret rares. So I pulled uh, a couple of these. I bought some. Um, and the Gyarados EX Secret Rare was like maybe $5 back in the day. And I was like, wow, that is insane. So I just bought a ton, but I also gave away a lot of these. Uh, I just have like two full pages of those Gyarados that you see here. And I gave them away. Um, I actually got these two in a trade. So still remember that. Really cool. Uh, just adding it to my collection. And um, there we go. Um got the polka ex uh team plasma uh thunderous all the cool looking pokemon so yeah moving on um another very good artwork that i really like is the glaceon ex um here let me get that out because that's kind of far up in the corner there but that is beautiful and texturing on that is really good <clears throat> all right so these were from uh, Generations, the boxes. Uh, the reason why you don't see the Charizard here is because it's in the other binder, uh, which you guys will find out why. Um, but I pulled two of the Latio, or uh, not Latios, uh, the Zapdos and Articuno Full Arts, uh, which I guess you can consider it to be secret rare almost, but you know, it's not secret, it's just full art. Uh, it would be amazing if they came in like a like silver secret rare type of thing, but. Yeah, and uh, we don't have a Moltres still till this day. All right, so moving on. These are just regular uh, EXs, or first of all, the Megas. Um, and I have a ton of these. I Back then, I went shopping uh, for Pokemon cards every Black Friday. And that's how I have the Mega Salamence and Mega Garchomp. Um, those are really, really hard to find now. Um, and I believe this Mega Salamence or the regular Salamence EX was the first EX version of Salamence and it was around 30 to $40 just for that card a promo card um, back in the day so and I think this is like another hard one to get the Mega Gengar EX the shiny one uh, it came out in a Halloween uh, treasure chest tin um, and it, again it's a shiny so really cool and we have the uh, regular Mega Gengar here so now this page got some more megas uh, the primal Kyogre up in the corner there more megas uh, mega blaze again also came in a uh, collection along with uh, mega swampert um, no mega septile I believe it came out in a set uh, during that time and we got the mega camera up in the corner and then we just Go straight into the regular uh, EXs. Might have some uh, extras in the back. Um, I have a couple of Japanese versions, um, which uh, was really fun to open. And we have the Drachi. That Drachi used to be really expensive. Um, long story short, uh, this card was given to me by a uh, kid that I helped out uh, back when I was doing um, volunteer work in my school. And it was just nice enough to give me that uh, because he knew that I was a YouTuber at the time. Um, so just like, hey, show this off to your um, viewers. So I did. And that was like one of my first like binder videos that I've made, uh, which is now unlisted or not public. 
um, because uh, it's old, and I don't want that to be, uh, you know, just floating around. Be like, huh? Who's this? I don't think this is Arrow Dragon. Well, back then it was different, and now too. So we got the evolutions missing a couple here, um, as you guys can see, and kind of like a water page here. All right, I'll try to speed things up. A lot of uh, other um, cards here. And then we got the Prime Slow King uh, and the Fernape X and Napoleon Level X. These two were like back then as a kid. I, bl I believe I was in fifth grade when these came out. Uh, when the uh, Shino region um, was released, Diamond and Pearl. And these tins came out and I was like, wow, that looks amazing. So yeah, very, very cool. And we got here a um, bunch of her clauses. Uh, why not, right? All right, so that is it for the first binder. Um, I'm gonna slowly do this without knocking anything over. Close it. And then I'm just gonna go straight into the other binder here. Um, in terms of value, I believe this binder has the most value out of the two. Um, and I know most of you guys would be like, how much is your binder worth? Or both of your binders worth? Uh, probably worth estimated amount of $3,000. Uh, I was going to edit every like price of something you know worth of value in here into the video. But I was like, that probably takes too much time. And I don't want to knock um, other stuff on the... Uh, shelf that I have here, but all right, so here we go. This is my GX binder with all the amazing secret rares and stuff that I've opened in the past, oh, let's say two to three years. Um, but yeah, I have here a Japanese, um, we got red and Pikachu up in the corner here. Um, these are from, of course, Hidden Fates, uh, the Tapu Fini and Tapu Bulu. I did open up a um was a shiny charizard on my channel uh but that i sold for eight hundred dollars um, back in the old days you know i needed the money and i was like well i can always buy it later so yeah i did i sold it for 800 um and i still haven't bought it yet but hopefully we can get some more packs of hidden fates and crack some open see if we can get another charizard but i have a ton of these Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno Rainbow um, rares. And then we got these shiny uh, and the two gold cards, which came in the premium collection box. Uh, I also have the figure. And the thing with this box was that the figures came um, damaged. Uh, and fortunately enough, I was able to find one at Target that was not damaged. Um, and the figure itself goes for like $30, if you guys didn't know that. And then, oh, moving on to some very nice spicy um secret rares from here uh, we got the mewtwo gx in the test tube um shining legends and speaking of shining legends if you guys got this far i'm gonna crack open some more shining legend packs that i have here so five packs of shining legends so stay tuned i'll be cracking uh into those at the end of the video um and hopefully we can pull another secret mewtwo uh, so I know that the Rainbow Rare and the Secret Rare here, um, they both go around for maybe $70 to $80 um, at the current time of this video. Uh, so that Mewtwo, yeah, I had like a page full of these. Uh, but I sold most of them when they were like $40. Uh, but I kept like kind of like a place that I have my fourth copy somewhere. Um, I just need to find it. But yeah, I have three in the binder here. And an extra Rayquaza, we got Dark Rye, Rainbow Rare, um, the Tag Team, Celebi, and Venusaur. We have the two Lycanrocs, Shiny down here in the corner uh, on the Ho-Oh. These are all from the Hidden Fates, uh, along with these guys up here. Um, so Glale GX, Rainbow Rare, I got that from a Mystery Pack uh, bundle. So I bought like, I believe, 36 packs from this one seller. Um, and he's like, you know what? You bought so much packs for me. I'm just going to give you like a uh, rainbow rare card. This card, when he or she gave it to me, 
but their eBay for free was sitting around seventy dollars. So <laughs> with that, I was like, "Wow, that is insane." Um, so I still remember that, and I remember doing uh, the opening and opening that. I'm like, "Wow, that is crazy." Anyways, moving on, we got the Rainbow Rare Raichu, another Moltres, uh, Stank Attack, uh, Tapu Koko, Lapras, Electrode. Moving on. Um, yeah, the Shiny Mewtwo, Rainbow Rare. Um, and then we got the uh, Reshiram, uh, Greninja. I think these two were like top 10 most expensive in Hidden Fates. Um, and then... I have the Glaceon, I actually sold Umbreon and the uh, Leafeon um, Rainbow Rare Shiny that I had. Um, and they did go for some pretty good amount um, because I believe they're like harder to find or something like that. More playable, more collectible, maybe a fan favorite. I know the Umbreon, the Shiny one is like a fan favorite. I love that uh, with the blue rings. Uh, I think it's sitting around like $90 for that, and I understand. So, anyways, moving on. Full Arts, got the Dragonites, the comparison of the Rainbow Rare, and the regular Full Art. Um, Mimikyu GX Rainbow Rare, I got that from a Dave & Buster's pack. Um, they were selling, like, packs for 800 points, which is equivalent to $8. So, yeah, it is kind of expensive. Um, but I got one pack, and I was able to pull that, so that was pretty crazy. Alright, moving on. I'm not going to commentate too much anymore, but Full Arts, really cool. Um, we got more of the Full Arts over here as well. Uh, I love these artwork, the Eevee Snorlax, um, Pikachu and Zekrom, and I have another shiny deck right down here. Um, so, really cool. Okay, so more of the Full Arts here. Uh, I have a Full Art Pikachu up here. We have red, um, and then we got the trainer cards here. Um, Flygon, uh, they got the starters, the Alolan starters. Uh, so I have Decidueye in the back here. Um, tag team Mewtwo and Mew. I got that at Target. Uh, it was in a uh, three pack, one foil. Those blisters. It was really insane. Um, I made my money back, and I was just like, wow. And then Snorlax VMAX Full Art, I got that through a promotional um, card. Like, you buy $30 uh, at GameStop, you get the card for free. You also get a jumbo-sized version of it as well. Uh, and a binder, so a mini binder, which is really cool. And we got the Rillaboom VMAX Rainbow. Really cool. And now we're just going to go into regular GXs. Um, but yeah, nothing too much uh, to see. Just some regular GXs, probably not worth a lot, um, but I, I love collecting these because, you know, the uh, artwork here, I'd say, you know, besides, um, was it uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? I think these artworks were pretty cool, um, pretty amazing. And then I don't really know how to feel for uh, the VMAX uh, or the V generation. It's just kind of like... Yeah, you know, there could be so much more on the card. Um, the borders just make it look kind of plain. But, I mean, they're still pretty cool. Uh, and, oops. And I do like them, so. Yeah, and uh, I believe this was, like, is this the miscut Metagross? I don't believe so. I think there was, like, a Metagross card that I had that was super miscutted. Um, let's see if it's back here. Probably not. Probably went through it. But here's some of the V cards that I currently have, and these are like pulled off from the packs or the tins. Um, so these are from the tins, and then Celebi and uh, Zashi and V, they're both from the uh, pack openings. All right, skipping a couple pages here, and this is the reason why I um, <laughs> placed all my Charizard cards here. So we got Evolutions, uh, Full Art, got the um, Generations Full Arts here. This is from Evolutions Holographic. I sold my reverse rare copy of it for a pretty good amount. Uh, Should have kept it. <laughs> kind of regret it. And then here's some like the rest of the uh, Flash Fire, um, the Tins, and some other versions of Charizard EX. And then we have here Generations, which is actually kind of like a um, 
I want to say reprint, but it's more of like the up to date version of the base set form. And then we get the Mega Charizards. Uh, this is actually from the um, X and Y uh, Flash Fire pack. It's not from the theme deck, which you would get a reprint of. Um, this is from oh Generations, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's Generations because uh came with uh, the two Charizards there. Uh, it's from a box and it's from Evolutions. Over here we got some like random foils. Uh, which I believe at the time was, it had like Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard. This was from a theme deck, so it's a Shatter Foil. Um, yes, I do have a base set Charizard. Uh, it's not the greatest condition, but it's still really cool. I did have a Shadowless Charizard card, which I sold a while back. Um, and this one's not Shadowless, but it's still worth some value, even though it's um, not in the greatest shape. It's not like bent or anything, it's just really worn out on the sides, but really cool and then we have the charizard card that i love down here it tells the story of the trainer so like charmander Charmeleon. so it's like the kid grows up to be this cool trainer and then there you go they grow up together so it's pretty cool that's charizard um this was from out from the a hundred dollar box if anyone remembers um i forgot what it was called but it's like a ton of reprints um the shaman was being the most expensive one which was like 50 to 60 dollars along with the end trainer card full art uh this was only <laughs> the only time you could get that and then we have the jirachi as well um and we have like a ton of other uh you know just like full arts that we didn't get um but yeah cool trainer cards um the story behind this card is a blank card i traded back in high school um but yeah, very cool though. I don't know if I can get my camera to focus on that. Yeah, so this is a blank Pokemon card. So they probably messed up cutting the sheets and they accidentally placed this one in there. It's not a holographic one. Uh, you could tell. And come on, camera. Focus, please. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it's pretty much blank. Um, and it's a common. So I don't think it's worth that much of a value, but it's a misprint. One of the very few misprint Pokemon cards that I have. Uh, the other ones are just like a minor ink issue um, or the word tags, which I'll get to. Um, and then we have that one Metagross card, which got <laughs> severely miscutted. Anyways, um, as I was talking, so I don't know if you guys remember, but Cyrus uh, got actually an eroded. So his effect got changed. Um, I have one of the very first few copies that came out in the first wave, and it was the one that was really broken i believe because of some wordings i don't remember what it was um but yeah it, they had to reprint it and they fixed it and everything so those are some prism cards that have not really expensive just really cool in general and then the shinies from hidden fates are kind of like just hanging out back here um i still want to like collect them uh, but they're getting really expensive so i have like the gibble lineup or the garchomp uh, so, like, you see some spaces here. I'm missing some stuff. And it will continue on. But I have the uh, movie promos. So, these are movie promos. Uh, Shining Arceus. And then we got the other Shinies. I also have more Shining Pokemons. So, Shining Jirachi, Celebi, Rayquaza, Shining Ho-Oh. Uh, the Arceus up there. Another Rayquaza. Volcanian, Lugia. I believe the only thing or the only shiny that I'm missing from that specific generation of shinies is the Mew. Uh, and I believe one more, but I think that's the only one I'm missing. And here's some other shinies that I have. Uh, I know the Eevee, Charmeleon, Charmander are worth quite uh, the money. So, And also the Oranguru. Um, I don't know if that's like still in the current format but it might have got rotated out um i don't really play the card games much but i only collect and yeah that is it for the shinies and that is it for the binder update so i'm just gonna be careful here when i do this and we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna slide the camera a little bit um so i actually have a stand 
but we're gonna crack open five packs of um, Shining Legends. So let's go ahead and see what I get. This is actually really cool um, to get a chance to open these again. Um, my target had these uh, in, or the, uh, what was it, the Raichu box, um, and I picked one up. I gave all the promo cards away to my little brother because he loves Pikachu. Um, and then I was like, well, why not, um, you know, open these in the binder video, right? Which I've been planning out for about a week now, but since school started, I was just scrambling to get ready. Um, and everything's virtual, so it's not that bad. So here we go. In the first pack we have here, Pokemon Breeder, Reverse, and... Oh, we got a Mewtwo GX. Not bad. So first pack, we got an Ultra Rare. All right, my camera's having a hard time focusing. Um, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna tap on the pack there, boom. All right, focus. It keeps zooming in and out, so I don't know. Sorry if that bothers any of you guys. And I think we're starting off with another Croconaw. That was kind of kind of weird. All right, so first pack, we got a Mewtwo. Can we get a Rainbow Rare Mewtwo or a Test Tube Secret Mewtwo? Um, that would be amazing. Um, Torcat, Electric Energy, Growligator, Soft Glees, Super Scoop Up, got a Lin Reverse, and a Manaphy Hollow Rare. And yes, this set was all holographic, um, unlike uh, the more recent one. Uh, which was Hidden Fates, which you weren't guaranteed a foil. However, um, the amount of foils that you get are also insane. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Because that's that set <laughs> was really crazy. Um, I bought over 200 packs of Hidden Fates just to get the Charizard. Finally pulled it. Anyways, what do we have here in this... Oh, oh, that was kind of dark, so I couldn't really see it. So we got a Scrafty Reverse, and oh, we got some Border. What is it? Hey, a Mewtwo GX Full Art. I'll take it. And I think it's a sign. Um, kind of off-centered, but that's still very nice. Full Art Mewtwo GX. So, let's see if we can pull the Rainbow Rare. <laughs> wow, so we got the regular and the, um, the Full Art. So I got two packs left. So out from five packs, that's really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. All right, Scraggy, Croconaw, Jinx, Flussel, Torcat, um, we got Psychic Energy, Damage Mover, Ultra Ball, Carnivine, Super Scoop Up this time. I think it's been in all of our like packs that we opened. We got something here. Another Mewtwo GX. Wow, what are the chances? Um, and these or these packs were from uh, the same box, by the way. I just, uh, like I said, took them out from the uh, Raichu box, gave the promos away. Um, but they're all from the same uh, same pack, so or same box. That is insane. All right, what can we end off? Because this opening has been all Mewtwo. Like I said. Might be a sign. What if we get Mew? <laughs> or the shiny Mew? I guess I don't have that, so. Alright. Here we go. We got an Ekans. Zora. Weasel. Flussel. Torah Cat. Fire Energy. Pokemon Catcher. Double Colors Energy. Lipard. Shaman Reverse Rare. And the last card is. <laughs> a Palkia Hollow Rare. That's all right. Very good, though. Um, <laughs> what a way to end off the video, right? So we got, for some reason, two Ultra Rares of the regular Mewtwo GX and the Full Art Mewtwo GX. Wow. We're only missing the Rainbow Rare. We have the Test Tube one in my collection, as you guys saw, uh, but just the Rainbow Rare. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this video was super long because I had to go through like two of my binders and open some packs but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and this is earl dragon and i'm signing out